turkeys will work this or okay. Okay, already? No. Are we good? Yes, we're good. Okay. Hi there. We are with, with Kathy Ge Gary. Gary. Kathy Gary here at Palo Verde High School. And this is uh, September uh, 30th. No, no. It's October, October 1st. 1st. Okay. And we're here with her today because if you look just behind Kathy, you will see there's a memorial here for Barbara Edwards. And she's going to tell us a little bit about her friend Barbara Edwards. Uh, okay, back with Kathy. Kathy, tell us uh, a little bit about when you met Barbara Edwards. I actually met Barbara at an open house here at Palo. My daughter was a student here. Uh -huh. um, she was in the first graduating class of Palo when the school was new. Okay. And Barbara was one of her teachers. Uh -huh. And my husband had hired Barbara at LVA to teach German. Uh -huh. And then she made some good friends at Palo Verde in the foreign language department and she transferred over to here and then my daughter ended up having her as a teacher. Wow, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So do you remember exactly what year that was? Or that would have been approximately two, 1998 or 99. Right, okay, 98. Because my daughter graduated in 2001. Okay. 9-11 oh. year. Yeah. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. and now Barbara Edwards comes to work here in Palo Verde. Uh -huh. And I understand for some reason she became larger than life. The students left her. Students usually really like their foreign language teachers because it's a fun, it's an elective class. Oh. They like it. I think she made classes entertaining and, and fun. And I... I wasn't a teacher here then, so I didn't know her as a teacher. I knew her more just as a, a parent. Somebody that's and, teaching your daughter. Right, and then because of my husband had hired her, mm -hmm. and he wow. was always a little upset that she left his school to come here <laughs> because she had made good friends here. Right, okay. And he always teased her every time we saw her at open <laughs> houses here. He would tease her, oh, you traitor, you, you traitor. left my school. <laughs> so that's how I knew her, not as a fellow teacher, okay. more as a parent. But now uh, you're a librarian here. Now I'm here. Okay, and um, excuse me, stop. Can, are you sure you're getting Kathy's face there? Or oh, just, yes. You're getting mm -hmm. Okay, she says beautiful face. <laughs> okay, so, okay, back on. Uh, all right, do you want to put the tripod or are you good? No, I'm good. Okay. All right, so uh, let's get back to where we were. Um, where was I? Remind me, Kathy. Okay. Um, was I, what had I just asked her? Uh, okay. Back to uh, the... Okay, we'll start. We'll, we'll go back. Okay, so now she's... You came to... here. You're at a library in here, and on 9-11, when and where were you? And then tell us when you first heard Barbara was gone. I was teaching that day. I was not a Palo Verde librarian. I was still at a middle school. Oh. But I had just returned from taking my daughter to her first year of college in Boston. Oh. And I had, um, like 10 days before, had dropped my daughter off at college, had come back here and saw the news on the TV that morning mm -hmm. and was terrified that I had just left Boston, which is the plane that Barbara was on, the oh. one from Boston that went into the Pentagon. Most of us did not realize that Barbara was on the plane until mm -hmm. I think my husband received a phone call mm -hmm. later that night. Mm -hmm. uh, from somebody here in town who found out, who was oh. notified. And then, of course, it was in the news. We have the paper up there. And of course, the you still day. are in disbelief. I mean, it's... Right. It's yep. 
It's such a shock. Yes. Okay. All right. So now uh, on 9 11, uh, when I came to visit the school, uh, well, I, when I came very sadly to bring the poem and I cried with the faculty, they had a temporary memorial in the gymnasium. Mm -hmm. Now, did you get a chance to see that? No, you I never here. saw that. You I wasn't here. here. But those mementos somehow made it to the library. A lot of it was put in the library and it was in different places around the room, sort of hidden and not very organized. Some of these things were just stuck on uh, poster board and because of the closeness to my family, mm -hmm. I felt I needed to move everything and I took a number of these things and took them to the stores to be framed and I put all of this up here in one small section rather than having it all over the library. So first of all, we want to take a minute. Angel Cafe wants to recognize this person who is extremely extraordinary because you went and you took these mementos and you put together an extraordinary memorial that has been serving the students at Palo Verde High School. And, and this is, Barbara Edwards has left a legacy, but we have to have people people of the Lord, great people like Kathy, that say, let's step out and do more. And she took it upon herself. She paid for these frames. She mounted it. She did all this. Congratulations on that part. <laughs> At the beginning of every school year, I do an orientation with ninth grade students. Aww. And during that orientation, um, one of their quiz questions is who was Barbara Edwards. Oh, so they they do a, a little scavenger hunt so they make their way down here eventually and figure out who she was. Oh, that's and then I go back over and explain who she was because I have come to realize that a lot of these kids mm -hmm. who are starting high school right now right. really don't know a lot about 9-11 or who, what the effect was and how personal it is to Palo Verde High School. Not only so I go over it in depth with them. That What you're doing here, I understand that you are teaching 9-11 at elementary schools and all, but what you're doing is, is an impact to the world because 9-11 did change America as we know it. And these children did not know and they have to know. They need to know about 9-11 and they need to know about Barbara Edwards because she is a face of tragedy here in Nevada. And so what you're doing is, it's of God's grace. I believe what Kathy Gary is doing is of God's grace, and that's why we're with her today at Palo Verde. Now you said that the kids go on a little uh, scavenger hunt to, to learn about, so they, there's a soccer field memorial, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And are there handprints out there? You know, I'm not sure. I think I saw handprints. And then, mm -hmm. And I, the very students that were here, uh, I understand I met some mm -hmm. that are gone now, they've graduated. Right. And uh, we met a banker not too long ago, and he's 24 or something. And anyway, he says, I go back and, and walk on the soccer field. Mm -hmm. And he's no longer a student, but uh, he says, I go, and I said, did you know there's a memorial in the library? And tears came down his face. Mm -hmm. So teachers, uh, kids that were here were touched. And now you're touching kids that weren't born. Right. Wow. The incoming freshmen, I have to teach them how to log on to the computer and they were all born in 1999, the new freshmen. Yeah. And so they were, <laughs> they were two years old when 9-11 happened. Wow. So you are, three years old. Uh, you are carrying an enormous uh, blessing and responsibility to these people. So you are more than a librarian, and we, we know you're telling me you were teaching before you came here. Right. So you're obviously a teacher, too, which is carried right. over. What did you teach before you came I taught high school English. Oh, I see. Oh, gosh, here I am asking questions, and if I'm not grammatically correct, she's going to slap oh, my hand. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. English, unfortunately, even though I'm a poet and a writer, English was not my good subject. Well, I've been a librarian in Clark County Schools for 23 years. Oh, so. okay. And uh, tell us just a little bit about your family. Your husband works still at? He's a principal He's at a Spring Valley High School. Spring Valley High School, okay. And children? 
my three children live all over. All uh, of Boston? I have, well, my youngest, my oldest son lives in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. And my other son lives in England and has wow. since 1999. He's lived there a long time. Mm -hmm. And my daughter lives in Nashville. Wow, so you can get to visit them all over They're the all over. <laughs> Do they make it here or you make it there? Both. Yeah. Both. I'd be heading to England. <laughs> I I do that. <laughs> I've been to I've been to England, and it, uh, this poem actually is about a blessing that happened to me in Germany, and 20 years after, I it came to me in a poem, and it's all over the world, and it's in a lot of schools. Mm -hmm. It's gone to Sandy Hook, it's gone to Columbine, it's gone to Virginia Tech, but we're most proud to have it as a memorial. A big memorial center here at Palo mm -hmm. Verde High School, and I did not know um, Barbara Edwards in life, but I feel like I know her, and I know she's angeling. She angeled before she was on earth. She's angeling in yes. heaven, and what you're doing is you're an instrument that's continuing the angeling. I'm trying. God <laughs> bless you, Kathy. We're going to talk to. We're going to see Kathy shortly. She's going to be teaching a class, and we're going to. Uh, take pictures of her, you're going to see her, and we're going to bring this all to you in this upcoming year, hopefully by December, and uh, we're going to have her, Gail Faye, and Kevin Haygood all together, and we want to show them what a great, great measure of goodness is coming out of tragedy. Thank you. Well, 